Hello everyone, welcome to Sits Lab. In this video, I'm going to unbox this Mako Digital Industrial Grade Multimeter. Let's get started. Let's open it from here and here we have the multimeter. Here is the main multimeter which looks pretty heavy, nicely built, rubber isolation coating and stand. nice here you can see this multimeter is cat 4 approved at 600 volt and cat 3 approved at 1000 volt cat 3 and cat 4 are category 3 and category 4 standards for electronic devices like electronic testing devices so it is the security that uh, cat 4 is CAT4 is the highest level of security and CAT1 is the lowest. So by seeing this, if it is written CAT4 on it, you will understand that it is industrial grade multimeter. And as you can see, like other cheap multimeters, you don't have different ranges of different testing options like different ranges for voltage different ranges for ampere everything is in one you set the multimeter on v ac and it will test ac voltage for you v dc will test dc voltage for you doesn't matter what is the range it should be under the rating of this multimeter which you will find the user guide inside it. Normally multimeters which you find can test only 10 ampere current but this one can test 20 ampere currents. 20 amperes is too high. You will not find it in any circuit and you will not need to test it even. So now let's see what all options we have. We have voltage AC, voltage DC, millivolt and hertz means frequency diode continuity and ohm that is resistance capacitance other multimeters like cheap multimeters don't have capacitance testing this has the capacitance testing also ac dc ampere milliampere and microampere there's a specific reason for separating milli micro amperes the reason is there is different socket for it this is the first reason and second reason if you by mistake connect to high power circuit which has more than 10 ampere current there is a fuse inside here which will blow up and it will not damage your circuit so current high currents generally damages the circuit so you have to remember to switch it to this port and switch it to amperes to test it there are different ranges and uh, it makes this multimeter more secured by doing that so that is important and at last we have degree celsius and degrees fahrenheit testing yes this multimeter can also test temperatures which is important while uh, testing some equipment like ICs if it is heating up too much it can possibly go faulty so you need heat sink over there or you need to check if it's supposed to heat that much or not and according to that you can check about it so degree celsius and temperature it is important now let's see the cables here we have test probes which are rated cat 2 as you can see it is cat 2 rated if it can focus yep 
it is catturated for 600 volts and 10 amperes but this multimeter can test 20 amperes mm, that's bad I have to purchase another probe which is 20 ampere rated but remember 20 ampere is too high you cannot find that in any general purpose circuit a general purpose device any general purpose device does not consume 20 amperes so it is too high you will not find that much current anywhere and uh, these are test probes you can see the quality of this probes is really good it doesn't feel plasticky and uh, it has these caps isolation caps for securing the contact which is pretty good that's connected and uh, let's go ahead and test something so right now it is testing 23 degrees celsius which is my room temperature <laughs> that's good okay uh, let's go ahead and test capacitance because generally multimeters don't have that options but this one has let's go ahead and test capacitance this is my component box and I have capacitor right here okay so I have this capacitor right here oh. which is 1000 microfarad it means 1 millifarad let's check it positive on positive side negative on negative side Nine sixty seven, nine sixty four. I hope you can see. Uh, just a second. All right, positive on positive on positive and positive on positive and negative on negative, and we have nine sixty one microfarad, which is pretty close. I like it this much fluctuation is acceptable in capacitors and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and learned a few things if you did please subscribe thanks for watching and have a good day